Hello, this is I Do Damage, and welcome back to the channel. In this Last Epoch video, I want to give you 10 tips and tricks that will help you out with your time on Last Epoch. There's lots to learn in Last Epoch, but hopefully these 10 pieces of advice that I have for you will help you out. Let's go ahead and jump in right now. The very first one is map navigation. I think this one's pretty straightforward, but it is worth pointing out because while you're working your way through the story, you're going to want to really focus on unlocking those passive points and idle slot rewards once you've gotten all 15 passive points you can't get any more passive points from the story same with idle slots once you've gotten all eight idle slots unlocked you will not unlock any more idle slots from the story so once you've achieved these two goals you can go ahead and just start jumping into the end game if you'd like but the piece of advice that i want to point out here is that you can click on a quest and it'll show you exactly where the quest location is as well as your rewards you can see this one gives experience in gold that's why i didn't complete it in my playthrough on this rogue another great feature that last epoch has that you want to make sure you utilize if you have any questions about the game is you use the guide function you just hit g on your keyboard and it'll open up a full knowledge base on every mechanic in the game for example, if you're running a damage over time build, which does have its very own special mechanics versus just doing hit damage, you can type in your damage into the search and it'll pull it up right here. Everything you know about hit versus damage, you can find everything is right here. Even dodge chance is included in this knowledge base. Literally anything you want to know about last epoch is in here in the guide function just built into the game. Another really important thing about Last Epoch, and this one's pretty basic, but has really been a fundamental part of Last Epoch through over the past five years. Every item in the game has four affixes, two prefixes and two suffixes. You can see the two dots on the left are the two prefixes and the two dots on the right are suffixes. The two prefixes in general are going to be your offensive affixes. And the two at the end, the suffixes will generally be more defensive. On top of that, the game also has base items, which have its very own implicit stats. And as you level up, you gain access to other base items. But just because you're higher level doesn't mean you'll stop seeing the lower level base items. Those will still appear as well. This game has a lot of great tools and a really great tool that you should utilize is the loot filter. I do have a loot filter guide available. Make sure you check it out after this tips and tricks video. You can customize all items that you see on the ground from the color of items to maybe highlight those more important items all the way to hiding items you don't want to see. Maybe if they're for another class or rarity, or if there's even an affix you don't want to see, you can also hide that. The loot filter is very highly customizable. You're going to want to make sure you learn how to use this tool. Again, I recommend watching my loot filter guide video after this tips and tricks video. Another really interesting mechanic in Last Epoch is its mana. Now, mana itself is not special by any means. I know you're probably shaking your head right now. But what's really interesting about mana on Last Epoch is you can actually go negative mana. So what this means is you could be almost out of mana and turn around and use your really expensive skill and go negative. So in essence, you actually have more of a mana pool. And if you have enough mana regen, it won't really matter anyway. But I think it's pretty cool that you can actually go negative mana instead of just not being able to use your skill. Keep in mind though, once your mana is negative, you cannot use any more mana until it's back to positive. That's the reason you wanna spend your more expensive skills right before it goes negative. Hopefully that'll help you out in some way, but hey, it's pretty cool to know, right? Next up, we have skills. Skills are the bread and butter to Last Epoch. Every single skill in the game has its very own skill tree, and you can specialize in up to five skills per character. The skill levels up to 20 and you can re-specialize skills at any time. As you level up your character, you will get a higher minimum specialized level. What this means is let's say I don't like the ability shift and maybe I want to switch over to smoke bomb or some other rogue skill. I can do that. I can respec and I can fully despecialize if I want. And when I pick up my new ability, it'll start out at level nine instead of level one. So you won't have to level it all the way up. On top of that, the higher your character level is, the more accelerated skill XP you gain as well. Keep in mind, level 20 is the soft cap for each skill, but you can go beyond that with special item affixes. Another really cool thing about the skill tree is if you don't want to fully respec, you can just remove one point at a time. Maybe if you want to fix your skill tree a little bit to try out some other nodes. Respecing in this game is not as punishing as some of the other games on the market. Another tip I want to point out here is whenever you're at a NPC vendor, make sure you buy the runes of shattering from that vendor. These runes of shattering are used in your crafting forge to break down an item that you don't want. For example, if 
I don't want this item and maybe I want attunement on one of my other items, I could shatter this item and get those attunement affix shards, which are used in crafting. I do have a crafting guide video as well. Make sure you check that out after this video and or after you have checked out the loot filter. Lots of last epoch videos just for you out there. As I mentioned earlier in the video, each item can have up to four affixes on it. However, through crafting, you can actually increase that to five. There's two ways you can do that. You can use a Glyph of Despair, which has a chance to seal an affix instead of upgrading it a tier. Another way you can do this is through the experimental affixes. You can see these boots have this special affix down here in blue, and that is an experimental affix that I got from killing an exiled mage. You can come in here and you can actually use a rune of research, and when you do that, it will seal that experimental slot on the item, and then it'll leave an open slot for new affix. So through crafting, you can have up to five affixes on an item. Another thing I think you should know about Last Epoch that may not be obvious up front, and you may even think it's a bug. If you teleport out of a map to go to town, to vendor, whatever it is, when you come back, all the enemies and loot will respawn. Last but not least, and this one's really just a quality of life thing that I noticed that I thought I'd point out. And if you find any of these keys as drops and you don't know where the temporal sanctum is, you can actually right click on the key and it will show you on the map exactly where to find that specific dungeon. There's Lightless Arbor. And there's also the arena. There's more than that, but as you find the keys in the game, that's a quick and easy way to locate the dungeon's location. So you're not just running around the map or having to search on Google. It's integrated right into the game just for you. That's going to wrap it up for this last Epoch 10 tips and tricks that I think you should know. There's lots more to the game and lots more you should know, but these are some of the top 10 that I thought of that I wanted to put in a video and share with you and put them into your brain. Hopefully you found this video useful and or entertaining. If so, don't forget that like button and subscribe to the channel for more action RPG videos. The best way to support me is through becoming a YouTube channel member today and or leaving a super thanks on the video. Your view alone means the absolute world as always. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.